I'm going to explain how to create a proposal. But before you create a proposal, you must input the customer contact information in the customer catalog. In order to do so, you click on Customer Panel. It opens up and you click, click on Customer Catalog. Now this is where you input your customer contact information. You do so by going up to the top right, clicking the New button. Now when you click the New button, it opens up a new screen that allows you to type in the customer contact information. I won't cover how to fill out the bottom portion of this, but you just need to fill out the customer's name, address, all the stuff that makes sense here, city, state, all the items that you see that are in asterisks are required fields. Now, however, I highly recommend that you also put their email address in right here. Now, I won't populate these right now, but I just want to show you how to do it. I'm going to navigate back home. I'm going to go to an estimate and show how to create a proposal. So I'll click home. We'll imagine that we, we input a new customer there. I'm going to go over and click on List Estimates. When I do, it displays the estimates that I have created. I'm going to click on one I've been working on, Commercial Estimate. Next, I'm going to create a proposal. Now, from this page, the way I do it is I click on the, the Proposal slash RCO button. When I do, it takes me to a new screen to select a customer. I click on the arrow to select the customer, and it takes me to the customer catalog. Now, again, it, when you input your customers, they land in here. I'm just going to create, or rather, I'm going to click on Sample Customer here, just to show an example of how to do this. Now, keep in mind, again, we're creating a proposal. And I selected the customer, and the cu customer's contact information populates here automatically. The one thing that you want to do is you want to type in a project description. You want to type in the plans or the dates of the plans and the specifications. Now I won't do that right now but it's important that you do because this is all going on the proposal. So when you're all done with that you go up to the top and you click Save and when you do this is the beginning of your proposal. Now you'll notice that the $59,097, the amount in the recap, has populated to the proposal. And that's how you get started creating a proposal.